Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing in the Team of the Season preparation series with Todd's preparation number two. And today the topic we are going to be talking about is SBC fodder and SBCs during Team of the Season. Of course, everybody knows about the guaranteed Tots SBCs where you get a guaranteed player from each of the Team of the Season squads that are dropped throughout this promo. We expect that to continue this year, but also how does SBC fodder move? And that's what we're going to take a look at in the first couple weeks of Team of the Season versus how it could move later on as there's a lot of saved up packs at the beginning and a lot of supply. That's going to be a big point of consideration that we will talk about today, but also not just look at last year's cards and how stuff move last year but just think about how cards have moved in price this year how SBC fodder has been moving this year even more crazy than ever because the SBC content on FIFA has just gotten better and better every single year and this year is another step up all the crazy player SBCs we've seen the upgrade packs that we've seen this year that we've never seen before in previous FIFAs so I want to talk through all of that today in this video and of course we're going to take a look at the current state of the market as we have some card prices that are actually going up a little bit I think some people are just seeing how low the prices have gotten and they see some of the they saw some of the drops from the past couple days and they said man yes this stuff is dropped off a lot but I think it's too low and some people started buying and I think that's caused a little bit of panic buying on just a few cards but again I'm going to exercise some patience here a lot of these cards that I want to buy um, as potential investments, I, um, I'm not buying them just yet, even though I've seen their prices go up a little bit. Like yesterday, Paqueta was what? He was like 400 uh, and 50K, 460. Now he's 485. The Sancho that we just looked at was up like 30K. These cards are not done dropping yet, in my opinion. They will get back down, so don't feel like you have to panic buy them at the moment. They are in the low, but I don't know if we're at the peak optimal time yet. Uh, I think we're still going to see a couple rounds of panic selling, depending on what content EA drop. And with some other things that I'm going to talk about here just in a second, I think could be related to that. So if you're excited to talk about Team of the Season once again, get prepared for it. And of course, learn about some SBC fodder. Hit the thumbs up on the video and of course, subscribe if you're new. Now, first things first, right before we talk about SBC fodder, I want to look at this webpage. I did not know this webpage existed when I recorded last night's YouTube video. This lays out, and I, if you guys haven't seen this, I want to talk you through it really fast. This lays out the schedule for team this season right here in front of us. There's no questioning. There's no like, okay, what date is it going to be? Here's, here answers my question from what I had last night when I didn't know this video or this webpage existed. The reason why the TOTS vote is so short for Community TOTS is because we're voting on every single league that is going to be dropping for team of the season. Yes, we're going to vote on Community TOTS, Premier League, Bundesliga. It's every single TOTS squad this year is going to be Community voted. Well, Community voted plus EA's input. But that's why the voting period is so short. Community TOTS vote goes from uh, the 17th until tomorrow on Wednesday when it closes. And then on Friday... It doesn't seem like we're having a promo, but we're going to have Premier League TOTS voting. That voting will close, and then uh, next week we'll have Bundesliga TOTS voting. We're going to have three different TOTS squads that we will have voted on before we actually see Team of the Season cards in FIFA, right? April 29th is Community TOTS. That is the confirmed date when they'll release them out into, into the game. That's the reveal. But we'll have voted on Community, Premier League, and the Bundesliga before then. So I don't know if you guys have seen this webpage. I'll leave a link down below in the video if you have not, if you want to check it out, of course. But that's these are the guaranteed dates. It's crazy that we're getting to vote on every single uh, team in the season release this year, which is honestly just kind of crazy. But let's get back into what we're talking about today and preparing for inside of team of the season. There's a lot of SBCs and that means there's going to be a lot of SBC fodder that is required to go inside of these. Of course, everybody talks about the Premier League TOTS guaranteed and all the other top five leagues TOTS guaranteed SBCs that we will get. Those are a mainstay of Team of the Season. But we get a bunch of upgrade packs. We'll talk about how to prepare for those. We get a bunch of player SBCs of TOTS cards that didn't make the team, a lot of flashbacks. And also we get, and we saw a lot of this last year, I think we're going to see even more of it this year, are a lot of these upgrade packs, right? Of course, we have the 81 plus double, but play SBCs last year, like the La Liga 85 plus player pick, that 85 times five upgrade that was non-repeatable. It, it was released multiple times, as you'll see down here. It was down here again, right? Uh, where's it at? 85 times five in the La Liga 85 plus player pick. Just throwing it back to last year, if you guys remember at all, 
we always say this, right? But the the content always fluctuates back and forth. Some weeks it's really good, some weeks it's not that hot. Last year, if you guys remember, La Liga and Bundesliga Tots, which were two weeks in a row right in the middle of the team of the season, had insane content like off the walls types of SBCs, the 85 times five, the 85 plus player pick for La Liga that we looked at right there. Those were all a part of La Liga. Bundesliga was just as cracked, but those were like the third and fourth weeks of team of the season. The first two weeks of tots were not that good. And that coincided with a lot of SBC fodder getting absolutely destroyed right off of the bat. So this is of course, last year, a screenshot during La Liga tots like Trippier, Coutinho flashback, 85 times five, Upgrade packs for days are released out in that time of the game. But take a look at this screenshot right here. This is from a different video at the start of Community Tots. Last year, and this is what I want to start talking off and talking about is when we're heading into this time frame where we're about to start team this season in the next week and a half, you do not want to be holding SBC fodder cards on April 29th, the Friday, when they drop Tots. You do not want to be holding cards at all because they're going to get supplied like crazy. Just think about all the packs that are going to be saved up after foot captains ends. People are going to be saving packs for all their might for the next week until team of the season community starts. And all those saved up packs get opened or most of them, like 99% of them get opened between community team of the season Friday and Premier league team of the season Friday. And that of course, coinciding with not the best content last year, made a lot of these fodder prices drop a lot, right? You see here, look at this drop off on the index 86. We like, it was just a complete nosedive, right? Take a look at these fodder cards from last year. This is 84 Felipe. First week of team of the season starts right here, Friday uh, the 23rd. Yeah, Friday the 23rd was community tots last year. You went from 10K, which is very expensive for an 84, down to like 8K, prem tots comes, more packs, not a ton of great SBCs, 84s go from 10,000 coins all the way down to 4K. But then the content goes crazy during La Liga and Bundesliga, and these cards absolutely explode. Same thing happens with Paul Pugba. He goes low and then explodes. And if we go up to the higher ranges of fodder as well, Tony Cruz from 27K all the way to 40,000 coins, even 90 rated Allison going from, let's see, it was back here, all the way down from 46K all the way up to above 60,000 coins when that SBC content was absolutely insane. So how does that look for this year with SBC fodder, right? Like what, what does that tell us? Well, first things first, I mean, I'm sure a lot of your guys' um, saved up packs stash. If you've started saving packs for tots, then your store is gonna look a lot like mine. You've got packs that are saved up that you're waiting to open during team of the season. Some of them are untradeable. A lot of them might be tradable, saving weekend league rewards, stuff like that. There's going to be a ton of people with packs saved up, ready to go for community tots coming the first week of tots on the 29th. I honestly think with this stuff, you're going to want, I mean, you can trade with fodder in the meantime from now until tots starts. But what I think the play is going to be with fodder cards this year is buy them on the weekend. And then depending on how the content is during that next week, then you'll potentially see those fodder cards going up. We don't really know. We can't really estimate what uh, content or how quality the content's going to be during each week of team of the season. So probably what the play is going to be is, again, like I mentioned, the supply the first weekend of community tots, like we just saw from that graph, knowing all the saved up packs are going to be out there. The supply for community tots and Premier League tots is going to be crazy, but it all depends on the content after that, whether or not the fodder goes up. So that just cements one thing into the ground. SBC cards are not going to be an investment um, as we head into team of the season. You're going to want to sell all the fodder that you have if you've invested in it, whether it's in forms or whether it is these you know, gold at fodder cards, you're going to want to sell these, right? I mean, these guys reach peaks in the last couple weeks of like 16, 17K, 85s, 86s, all of your fodder, even yesterday uh, from Monday went up just a little bit. You're, again, your 85s are up like a thousand coins a piece. So if you're investing and trading in fodder right now, this is not like OMG panic sell. It's basically just next week before tot starts, get it out and then probably go in on investment on the weekend and hope that EA drops some good content, which they have been doing. And again, 
the the buying on the weekends time frame is not something that has been um like weird as of late like watch Chesney right all these cards have been going on this on this trend they get low on the weekends or Friday Saturday with supply then they bounce up into the early meek early part of the week or the midweek a boom see here it goes 20,000 coins up to 24k 18k to 25 it all depends on the content but they're lower on the weekends when there's more lightning rounds and more packs open than during the week when they drop the gamble SBCs and all that sort of content that's when you see these players rise up a little bit more. So I think that's going to be the play during team of the season. That's going to be kind of what you're going to look for. And then like again, like I mentioned, we have a lot of SBCs that are out right now at the moment. We don't know how much EA is going to run lightning rounds during the week during team of the season as well. That could impact preview packs, could impact the market. But just looking at it and thinking about how they've been doing content this year, um, I think that it's going to be buy the fodder on the weekend, sell it during the week, uh, and then repeat. Also, what I would mention is too, since we're getting a lot of team of the season items that are going to be coming out, and as you notice here, even for the secondary league cards, they're still pretty high rated. And what you saw last year was, take a look at 90 Allison, right? He peaked at like 80 to 90,000 coins at his absolute highest point. Most of the time, he was 60, 70 when he would spike up, right? 59K, 56K. But after team of the season, his card kind of started just slowly creep down because team of the season just brings so many higher rated cards to the game that specifically for these guys that are up here right now, like some of your 89s, 90s, 91s, 92s, like Lewandowski has been crazy, crazy expensive when we had big time SBCs. I don't ever expect Lewandowski to go to 95,000 coins again. Um, unless he's like out of packs and crazy expensive or something, because you're going to, you're going to have a lot more of the 89 to like 93 94 rated cards on the game with team of the season being out so if you have some of this higher tier fodder and it spikes this week before tot starts i would plan to get out on some of that stuff as well just because i think that that tier of the market's going to drop a little bit with all the higher rated players that do come on the game now let's talk about league upgrade sbcs for a second because i know a lot of you guys like omg nate do i need to buy premier league rares ahead of team of the season because they're going to be required and ask for in the upgrade packs for that second week of Premier League Tots? The answer for me is no, because again, just like last year, they did not require league specific rares inside of the upgrade packs. They have not done that for a long time. And I can even show you, I went back and looked at the upgrade packs that we had last year. If we get the same ones that we had for team of the, the year um, just a couple months ago, they should not require any rares. Last year during team of the season, no league specific rares were required. It was just 11 gold rares, 45 chemistry. That was for the Premier League premium upgrade pack, which is a 25K pack, three rares, 12 gold players from the Premier League. I hope that we get those same upgrade packs again. Those are the great ones to grind. Yes, they're like 14, 15,000 coins a piece, but th that's just what you grind. And, and these are the best for crafting as well. Then you can turn them into a lower tier upgrade SBC. Um, if I go back and find that page, you know, you've got the premium upgrade and then you've got the, the other upgrade, which gives you uh, this one in La Liga gave you a player pick of three La Liga players, 80 plus. That one was super duper cracked. Um, during Premier League, I think the upgrade pack, the lower tier upgrade was not as good. Yeah, it was one 80 plus rated player pack. It wasn't a player pick. So we'll see if they do any sort of variation with the upgrade packs. But honestly, if you want to get ready for tots in terms of upgrades, and this is one thing that I did, I think in FIFA 19 or FIFA 20, I actually went unassigned on the gold rares heading into team of the season because I wanted to go out and stock my club and get ready and to do a bunch of upgrade packs. Um, and I believe if I take a look, the Premier League upgrade packs, I'll go back over here to Footbin and, and look at the start date for when these were released. Uh, these were released on May 2nd, which I believe, yeah, May 4th was, um, a, I think these released on Sunday. Yeah, so, you know, Sunday was the release day for these last year. Upgrade packs always came out on Sundays last year. This year it's Monday. So I hope they would give us that extra day and put them out on Sunday um, this year like they did last year. I don't remember what they did during team of the season, to be honest if it was Monday or Sunday, but hopefully they'll drop those on Sunday, give us that extra day to craft and to, to grind uh, that stuff. So just stock up on gold rares. You can buy Premier League rares if you want to. People are probably going to invest 
in these cards first off, just in case, especially since we know what leagues are coming out. The Premier League rares are probably going to rise up a little bit in that week before Prem Tots, and we'll talk about that, of course, as the time comes. But uh, I don't think you have to specifically buy those specific uh, league cards for that. So that's kind of what I'm talking about with the league SBCs for the upgrade packs and stuff like that. Now, that's all about fodder, right? I mean, that's kind of the, we've covered it all basically with SBC fodder. You still trade with this week. Like a lot of you guys are invested right now. And if we can just transition to talking about fodder right now in the current state uh, of the market in FIFA 22, again, prices are up a little bit uh, because we had that Icon Moments pack released yesterday. We had the 86 plus double that was released yesterday. And we had a Robin Van Persie and the 81 plus player pick, which the 81 plus player pick, some people don't like this because it's only three choices instead of two. Last week, of course, the 80 plus four was so cracked. I still think this is a W. I probably did like maybe 10 to 15 of these. Not a ton, but I did pack a Ramos, packed a few walkouts. I actually have a duplicate Ramos at the moment. So these are definitely not bad, and they're still the same cost as last week. They just, it adds a rare in. So it's really cheap. Only nine players, 7,000 coins to do. W, right? 100% a W. The 86 plus double is really craftable as well. Pretty cheap. Technically, it's not worth it because it's 51,000 coins and 86s are 15k a piece. So if you get 286s, you're, you're losing money on that gamble. But the Icon Moments upgrade is out again as well. No, it's not any cheaper, which is why I think you have a higher downvote percentage here. Um, and it's only out for five days, though. Last time it was out for a whole week. This one's only out for six days with five days now remaining. Robin Van Persie, if you want to get him done, very cheap, 400,000 coins craftable as well and that's what i want to start talking about next is we have now we're in a very very interesting point heading into this half of the week of foot captains because we have not one not two but now four insane icon moments players that are leaked to be added via sbc and sheriff says here now we have more players than days let's see what they will do because now, instead of just having, uh, who are our other two? Zidane and Maldini. We also have Patrick Vieira and Cantona. Yes, there is a Vieira leak that was tweeted out as well by Mr. Foot Sheriff. He said, Vieira, Prime Icon Moments are also added to come as an SBC. So, Vieira, Cantona, um, Maldini, and Zidane are all leaked to be coming. And, you know, you would think that it would be during this week... Because again, like we've been talking about and like we've been seeing, we, we've been getting these daily icon moments, player SBCs. So if that's the case, then they're going to be somehow dropping more than one icon moments player per day or some of those leaks are cap. So we'll see what EA does. But if any of those four, I mean, even if they drop like two of those four, like if they drop Vieira and Zidane or um, Cantona and Maldini, something like that, like that would be huge, right? People would pretty, would be pretty, pretty excited with the craft that you'd be able to put in right now with the upgrade packs during foot captains to get those cards done. That would be really, really big hype. So just watch out for that. Some of the content might start getting really spicy this week. You know, they dropped the 86 plus times two, you know, you would really think that they're going to continue that gamble pack type of mentality drop another sort of gamble pack today we don't have any uh, leaks about what that could be it would be a perfect day for a campaign bag type of thing you know you know last week we had the campaign bag that included captains from team one maybe this week they'll drop a campaign bag that would include uh the cards from team two so we will have to see again what they do with that today would be like their you know tuesdays are usually campaign bag days they've done it on mondays before too but that could be some content that we see today. Uh, and again, like, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you have seen some cards that have rebounded back in value um, a little bit. But I mean, as I still scroll through a lot of the market right now, like I bought a Coutinho yesterday. You saw that on my transfer list. I bought this Coutinho at 1.32 because again, you still have these hours of panic selling on these cards. He's 1489 at the moment. Uh, but I'm still looking really, really good with this card. He is still down really low. Um, you know, I think you're going to see more periods of panic selling later on this week and especially this weekend, right? I, again, like I see with uh, this, the whole thing about Premier League voting, like people are going to see on Friday's content, like this Friday when we don't have a promo, which by the way, there's who, who knows what could this Friday could be. They could run foot player days. They could run... Um, you know, whatever pre-tots, warm-up series, pre-tots series, whatever they want. You know, we still have this next week of time frame when it's like legit right before team of the season. So 
we'll have to see um, what happens with this. But I just think there's a bit more panic selling to come. And I think that if you're worried about missing out on some of these card prices that you've seen rebound a little bit um, on the game, I don't, I don't think you have to be worried. I really don't think that you have to be worried at all. You're going to see prices drop back down again, in my opinion. It, we're still over a week away and again what people just love on this game of fifa this year is the gameplay i think the casuals and most of the people on this game love the gameplay they're going out on today on a monday getting their rivals games in qualifying for foot champs because there's a lot more gameplay demand this year it seems like and the market crashes have kind of showed that and they've explained that because what we've seen also this year is that player prices um, especially if you think about Black Friday. In, in yesterday's video, we talked about the Usman Dembele, uh, the Rule Breakers card from earlier this year. A lot of our market crashes this year have originated like the week before the promo actually dropped. It's not like two or three weeks before. Um, and then that's kind of your lowest point in old FIFAs. It was like two weeks before was your lowest point because so many people would panic sell. Then people would start to buy back and you would see it kind of go up from there. But now people are waiting to sell until the last second. Uh, so I think you're going to see a little bit more of that later on this week. So don't be worried. Don't go panic buy cards right now. Cause like, Oh my goodness, Neymar just went up. He's, he's never going to go back down. You know, Neymar is going to go back down. Don't worry. He will drop, uh, definitely throughout later this week as we get towards uh, community tots with more hype, more buildup, more content, everything along those lines to come. So that's kind of how I'm feeling right now with the market. I'm kind of keeping it in check. Yesterday was a good day to trade. Um, but I'm not going too crazy. Um, you know, I bought a lot of payettes at 150, sold them at 180, which was nice. Is my Coutinho get down to be relisted, right? And I'm not, I'm not trying to just, you know, sneak every little bit of profit that I can out of this Coutinho. I'm probably going to list right now for like 147 because I'm just going to try to get the sale. He could at any moment be back down to 1.4 mil and then I'm not making coins. So if you're trading in this market, just be careful with it. Like I said, once again, uh, I think that 1489 might've gotten bought actually. So I'm going to try to get that sale at 147 and hopefully take my coins there. But that's the kind of quick flip trading you can do. If you have fodder, hold it, right? Hold that fodder because I think, again, later on this week, as the supply dries up, you know, if you bought 84s, 85s, 86s, you're waiting for more SBCs to come out. Or if you bought Team of the Weeks, you're just sitting on it right now. You're waiting for this to rise up more. 86s, you know, you need them at like 17, 18K. And I think they'll be there either this week or next week. Um, and, you know, I think you have that opportunity to, to hold that fodder throughout that time frame. So that's going to be the video for today, boys, to be completely honest. I know we talked about a lot related to fodder, related to market. Um, and we're just going to keep continuing to monitor this thing as we go throughout this week, as we watch prices. Uh, Marcelo, I'll, I'll cover this for a second. Marcelo is actually, this is kind of a crazy fluctuation. He was panic sold big time yesterday. It seems like uh, a lot of cards got low Monday, but he's, he's rebounding back up like low Monday morning during rewards. He's rebounding back up, uh, back to 1.25. So if you bought this at one, three, you're really not losing that many coins. I do think this will drop lower though, as we had throughout the week. So if you have one of these, you're trying them out. I think I would get him out. I really do. I think I would cash this card, um, as soon as possible. Cause I think he will be back down to like 1.1 mil later on this week. Um, and even next week heading into team of the season, that's just kind of what I'm thinking with that card. So that's going to be the video for today, lads. I know it's a bit of a longer one. And I appreciate you guys sticking around for those, but we just had to talk about everything related to fodder and to the current market. Again, we're going to continue to cover it every single day that we go on through this promo. If you did enjoy the video, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's Nate's Foot Accountant. Have a great day. Peace.